All right, so hopefully this video is going to show you how to remove the uh, the dashboard, the cluster on a. This is a 2006 Land Rover Discovery. Uh, maybe 2007 actually, but either way, if it's a Discovery 3, this video should work. I'll show you the uh, the problem that we're getting. I'm going to put the key in here. And if we look on the dashboard, the dashboard warning lights only the parking brake is coming on, but nothing else is coming on. We'll start the engine and the dashboard is completely dead other than like a green light here and a flashing light here. So um, that is an issue. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna find when I take the dashboard apart, uh, but the, the purpose of this video is just really to show you how to remove that dashboard cluster so you can then start looking at what needs to be fixed, repaired or replaced. Now the first thing we're gonna do is remove this panel here. So we're gonna pull down from here and it'll, it's like, almost like a glove box and it's got two hinges on either side and they should just slide off like that. Then we've got this panel where the vent is and the light switch, and this will just also pull off. So if we just pull from the bottom here, there we go, and that should pull off really easily. You will see that there is an electrical connection underneath there. Just pop that tab in, and then this should kind of come out. There we go, like so. Next up, there's a panel on the other side, so it's this panel here, and again, this should just pull out in the same way as the last panel did. Sounds like you're completely um, snapping things, but you're not. We've got one, two, three, four metal connections there, no electrical connections on this piece. So next up, we've got two screws to remove. They are torque screws, so we need to use a T, uh, what is it? It's a T25, and we've got one right there, and the other one just opposite on the other side there. So I'll show you this. It's gonna be quite difficult. I'll probably need to put the camera down, but you get the idea about these needing to come out. And then what I believe you can do is get this panel to sort of completely come out. You need to pull it from both sides. It sounds like it's being snapped, but I don't think it is. And that seems to be coming off. There we go, you can see you get this part completely loose. So this is loose here. What you can do though is, um, you need to get access to like two screws down in here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, but to pull this back a bit further, you can take up this kind of like top binnacle um, of the ignition um, on the steering wheel surround. So you might need to get a like a tool, a prizing tool to just take off this top part here. I'm just gonna try and pop this in. See what we can come up with. There we go. It seems to come off quite easily. We'll do the other side as well. Just being careful, obviously, not to snap anything. And that comes off pretty easily. So then we've got a bit more clearance and we can move this a little bit further back. In fact, we can probably pop that down there like that. And then if I show you, we've got a lot more clearance now. The two screws we need to be dealing with is this one here and then this one here. So access might be tight. I suspect it's gonna be like a T30-ish torque screw. And then that's the only thing which is really holding in this binnacle speedo cluster. It is a T30. Now it's quite difficult for me to do this with one hand on the camera and one hand um, on the tool itself, but I'll just show you, you know what needs to be done point is me struggling and doing half a job here because I might risk losing the, the tool itself but I've got that in there now and it's just a case of working it free working it loose on both sides all right so as you can see now we've got both of the screws out on this side and that side and now this should really just come out. I believe it's held on with like a little clip up here, uh, but you don't need to sort of have any tools or anything. All you really need to do is just start sort of carefully sort of pulling it out. Um, you need to kind of like pull it, push it down if that makes sense. And then it should start coming free. So let's 
going to be quite possible for me to pull it down when I've only got one hand so I'm going to have to put the camera down um, let's see how I get on it's just really quite difficult actually finding a, a slot ah there we go it seems to be moving a little bit if we push it up and pull it down a bit there are two little like little markers which I guess ah, here we go seems to be the way to do it and then it's probably just a case of trying to manoeuvre this out of the way be careful not to Or break anything on the screen or break anything of the uh, the other plastic components it seems like it's oh, ah, here we go I was gonna say it's stuck on the other side but it's come out this side so now uh, we've obviously there's not much to look at behind there we've got like an electrical connection here uh, so that's what I'm gonna get at and once I've released this then the whole thing should come out completely again this is going to be one of those things that it's just not going to be possible for me to do with uh, one hand so I'm gonna put the camera down again slide slide that out like that and then that should release that and then this should come out completely so this is what we're looking at the back of the unit <laughs> And then we need to, well that is really the, the video that I was wanting to show you. Um, you know, there's got, obviously got to be something wrong with this unit to make it keep flickering on and off and sometimes intermittently not working as it is. So uh, I'm probably going to save that for another video. Uh, but first and foremost, this is how to remove the dashboard of your Land Rover Discovery 3. And I hope this has helped.